Hi, this is Johnny Bergen. I'm here with Lee Kanahira. We're going to play True Love by Memphis Slim. We're here at Stagecoach before our little show in Chiga, Chigasaki. Chigasaki. Chigasaki, Japan. Okay. We're going to skip the six bar intro, I think, <laughs> because it's a little strange. Right. Ready? <laughs> successful career here in Asia and uh, plays often in the States as well. So this song is an A, A, B, A song. Kind of like another one of my favorites, Majors, Minors, and Ninths by Robert Lockwood, which we'll get into in a further video down the road. But this one has an eight bar A section. Then it repeats it. Then it has like a bridge. And then it repeats the, eight, the original eight bar section again. And uh, that's all you got to know. He really leans on these 13th chords. We could do a whole lesson on just his chords, but right now I'm gonna try to get through the solo, sort of mostly as much the way he played it as he could. One thing I love about uh, this one is how he plays a lot of the same swing and stuff, like. Or, A lot of the same stuff um, throughout the whole A A B A section. So it's fun. Try to limit what you're playing um, 
to a few phrases and put them in in a clever way. And I also like the way he really comes out smoking, and, but he starts playing like less and less as he goes on. So how about it? Well, he has this running start. You can do it either all downstrokes or you can do it, just relax your hand and go. That's a 12 and 11, okay? G and B strings. It's in C, so. That ends on the five, um, 10th fret A string. So let's hit Here we go. Here goes nothing. Second A. B. Two. Last A. Then it goes into the last section. So that was, I think, the best I'm going to play it. I'm going to leave it at that. So uh, have fun. Just try things like this. Same note, different string. Eighth fret, thirteenth fret. I know this is a lot, and it's probably not great for a beginning guitar player. Um, Matt Murphy's the master of these thirteenth uh, chords, right? Like that. That's eight, nine, ten, eight. And then the four looks like this. And then there's a two, a minor two, and a five. Or you might hear a raised. And then you might hear a seven. That would probably get me fired from Memphis Lynn's band, but uh, that's how Lee and I ended it. And it, at least it was obvious and like we were able to follow each other that way. So, you know, to make your, if this is a C ninth, then you put your pinky out there to make a 13th. And so F, it's like over this beat. Ba -da -ba. It's really sort of big bandy. Ba -da -ba. There's your new 13th chord. a minor two and then the uh, five up here so you can play the melody if you want or you could just uh, have the piano player play the melody or you could try picking out yourself you know but maybe it doesn't work quite so well with the guitar playing the melody it sounds kind of plinky or something I think it'd be great for the right harp player it'd be really killer I mean imagine if Paul DeLay played this song have fun. I hope maybe seeing it, um, sometimes like if you can see it right in front of you, you can play it. So practice going real slow with these 13 You can do your little rolls. I like that. You can tell he's wrapping it up, right? That's A, 10 on the G string, hammer on the nine, 10, and then roll. 
And we'll be using that when we get to majors, minors, and nights. Okay, so any Matt Murphy stories out there? I know we've talked about them a couple years back. We talked about uh, Lonesome um, from that same record, World's Foremost Blues Singer by Memphis Slim. But uh, always happy to hear about Matt Murphy. Maybe some of you guys out there saw Memphis Slim. That would be amazing to me. Please uh, let me know your stories. I hope you found this uh, this little lesson helpful, and I hope you enjoyed um, the awesome piano stylings of Lee. Greetings from Japan, and see you next time. Thanks a lot.